that is how it is. Um, I don't know the numbers, but uh, now Nintendo would probably be not okay. Like they've shut down all the Pokemon MMOs, Pokemon Online, all that stuff. They've shut all that stuff down from time to time. So I won't be surprised if they come after these guys. Um, but yeah, this is a fan game. So, uh, and right now it is free. So the fact that they're not charging money for it, I think that they could probably get away with, with using a lot of this stuff under fair use. But I mean, even the fact that it's just called Pokemon, and they use the word Pokemon, Pokedex, these are all trademark terms. Um, you know, in, in the house that you start in, you've got a Nintendo Wii, and it says, oh, look, a Nintendo Wii. Like, that stuff will not fly. Nintendo will will smash that stuff so fast. So there are some changes that they probably have to make. Um, but again, right now, since this is a free game, uh, it would probably be under fair use. Oh, Archmuffin, hey buddy, how you doing? Um, good to see ya. Glad you made it out. Um, okay, so I drank a lot of coffee this morning. So I really gotta go to the bathroom, of course. So we're gonna take like a two minute break right here. And I'm just gonna leave the game on. I'll just mute it. Okay, I'm back. I always, sorry, I always want to check that my mic unmutes because the other day I thought that I accidentally left it muted for like the last hour of my stream and I was going to be really mad, so I just like to check that. Um, yeah, Arch pr Prison Architect's kind of rough. I've been there. Takes a while to get set up and going. <clears throat> um, but yeah, thanks for uh, coming to the stream is what I meant to say when I said thanks for making it out. Um, so, for those who weren't here earlier, I'm going to post a link in the chat. Um, this is a link to a injured Reddit post, whatever you want to call it. A uh, link about the game. It's got some general info and pictures. And a lot of cool stuff, information where you can get the demo, is which is what I'm playing right now. Um, so far, you know, I've been playing it for like two hours. Um, so there's a lot to be played here during the demo. Um, 
Um, there's a few areas to explore. There's like a cave, a um, couple towns. What is this? I go in here already? This looks like a weird house. Okay. This guy's apparently a lumberjack. Doesn't get any work. It's cold. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the artwork for the Pokemon that they're planning on putting in this game looks amazing. I love it. Looks really good. A lot of uh, unique Pokemon. A lot of them inspired from, um, by the South American theme of the game. Really enjoying it so far. <clears throat> this is Cub Zero. Uh, he is the best Pokemon in the game. And you know what? I hate to do this. I have to take just a minute. Because I said I would do it. I'm going to go to the Twitterverse here, real quick, oh my goodness, Pokemon News retweeted my, uh, my live stream, that's so cool, I mean I'm sure it's because they just uh, retweet stuff with the word Pokemon in the title, but that's really cool, um, I, that'd be awesome if some people came in from that. Um, but anyway, yeah, I said I was going to do this. Cub Zero Hype. Hashtag Cub Zero for Life. I probably should have put my Twitch channel in there. Whatever. It doesn't matter. People get it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm uh, super stoked to have me a Cub Zero in the party right now. Right now he's only got two moves. Kind of sucks, but I'd really like to see um, if this game and its Pokemon eventually get added to something like Cerebi or Bulbapedia, some sort of wiki. Um, you know, where it'd be kind of up there and compared with the canonical stuff, you know? I think that'd be pretty cool. So what I want to do right now is number one, top priority, is to make Cub Zero OP. That is, uh, my one and only desire right now. So I'm going to try to train him up a bit, but I'm also going to head back to my hometown area. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I want to, um... I'm gonna go back in that cave, and I wanna try to catch... Dang it. Uh, I wanna try to catch some of the Pokemon in the cave, because there's a couple unique uh, guys in there. I hate wasting potions on wild Pokemon battles, but Cub Zero is worth it. I don't want him to have to split XP. Oh, I wouldn't have died anyway. That. Um, but yeah, so I wanna I wanna level up Cub Zero. Oh, look at the XP. It's real. Plus two attack. Oh, 15 attack is really good for a level seven. Uh, as far as I know, <laughs> I say that and I'm like, oh, I don't know. Um, 15 seems pretty good for a level seven. So I'm gonna go in this cave area because there's a few guys in here. That I want to try to catch. This guy is one of them. This Penglyph. But yeah, see, these are all like really early areas in the game. And the Pokemon here are so strong. See, that was a critical hit and it barely, like, oh. So that might be one suggestion that I would make to the uh, development team. Oh, another crit. This dude is unstoppable. It's maybe just scale down the beginning areas by like a level or two. I think would really help. Um, Cause it's just, early level grinding is tough when you gotta go back and heal after every single battle because you're getting, oh I wanted to catch that, I'm an idiot. Oh well, that was good EXP. Um, 
it's hard to get some early levels when everything is just so strong. And this is only level 3, so I don't want to catch it. Because I'd have to level it even more. So I'm noticing some like weird graphical glitches. Um, like I don't know if you saw that up in the top left corner, there's like a flash when he used Harden. And when it does the uh, the battle cutaway, and it does kind of like that PowerPoint tr transition type move, um, it only does it in like the original screen region. So like when I started this game, there's an option to make the window size large, and uh, so I made it large so I could obviously see it better. Um, but the animation is only playing for the uh, default size screen. So you can see that it's only covering like... I don't know if you can see my mouse on the screen. Maybe. Um, it's only covering like a... Maybe like three quarters of the window. So it's just a little stuff like that. It's not ruining my experience or anything. Um, but it might be something that I... I might actually report bugs for this. Like normally I'm just that guy who's like, eh, somebody else will do it. But I really like this pro uh, project. Coblin, this is the guy I want. He looks pretty cool. Okay, so taunt means I can only use attack moves, which is absolutely fine by me, because that's all I'm going to do anyway. Don't kill it. Okay. We in there. We got him. Uh, okay. Next point of business. I don't know if you noticed, but my HP went down into the red, and guess what the game is not doing? It's not beeping. And some people will be like, oh, I don't know when my HP is low. Well, pay attention, idiot. I hate this, that stupid beeping sound that it makes when your HP is low, and the fact that it just does it forever. I'm like, yeah, I get it. I know where my HP is at. I'm paying attention. I see that it's red. I know red is a new universal signal for bad. That's just a, this game gets a plus in my book for not having the beeping sound. So Coblin is a cave sprite Pokemon, spends its entire life in tunnels deep under the earth. Because of this, it was long believed to be just a myth told by miners. So that's pretty cool. He has no footprint, which is weird, because he definitely has feet. <laughs> um, and to answer your question about EXP scaled, I think it is scaled. Because I did a battle earlier where I started it with... Uh, I started it with one Pokemon that was like level 6, and I switched to one that was level 10. And when I ended the battle, the level 6 Pokemon got uh, 12 experience, and the level 10 Pokemon got 7. So I do believe that it is scaled, so that grinding in, in lower areas is kind of uh, I don't want to say frowned upon, but it's not as rewarding as moving on to a new area. Um, so I'm going to nickname this guy. Uh, the next person that came in here was none other than Arch Muffin, which I can't remember if Arch Muffin was the one who told me that I should play this game. I was kind of hesitant about it because I know, you know, some people don't like Pokemon. That's fine. Um, and the fact that it was a ROM hack that I, or not a ROM hack, but a custom game that I'd never played before and I didn't know anything about. Um, I was hesitant to play it on stream because I didn't know what it was going to be like, but I decided to just go for it. And, oh, this is level 8. I wish I would have caught this one. Um, let's switch Pokemon here. Did I really? If I did, I'm sorry. I can't look right now because he's in my box apparently, and I can't get to my box till I go back to whatever town, Nerdville. Okay, I couldn't remember if it was you. It might have been Flame or it might have been Artie. It was one of you guys that I said, just you know, go ahead and play it. People would always. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. 
Well, guess what? Um... Ooh, I almost killed it. Guess what, Archmuffin? You are in luck. Cause this guy's level 8? Yeah, Flame, I was trying to figure out who told me to play this game last night. Um... But it's not important. What is important is I'm playing it. And what is important is that I have a chance to redeem myself. Right here. And I'm probably just going to end up releasing that other one because it's a lower level. Okay, so it might, it might have been Artie, who I think is here but is uh, in a meeting, so he's got it muted. So I got the Coblin. The only other thing that I know that lives in here is the Penguin and the, the Peblo, Peblusa or whatever it's called. I haven't caught this thing yet. No. I don't want this one because it's level 3. I need to make it out of this cave though and get back to town. Yeah, hashtag blame Artie if you hate Pokemon as much as I do. This must be unbearable. So blame Artie. Uh, but yeah, I, I know I've said this like a thousand times, and I feel like I'm a broken record right now, but this game, pretty good, man. It looks good, it feels good, it plays well, obviously it's, it's still early, so there's some stuff that needs some work, but you know, that's what, that's why people like me play the game, man, so we can let them know. Um, Seanification, no. This is a custom-made Pokemon game. It's uh, currently in development by the good gentleman over at uh, your local 4chan office. Um, I'm going to post a link in the chat here. It's probably already showed up, but you won't hear this uh, me telling you for like another 60 minutes because of Twitch delay. But that link has some information about the game, including some pictures, some art uh, of the Pokemon that are going to be in the game when it's done. This is a demo version right now. Um, this game is made in RPG Maker. So, it is not technically a ROM hack. And these Pokemon are not official or licensed. But they're awesome. I'll tell you that much. Cub Zero. Hype. Like, first of all, that name is awesome. Second of all, this little kitty is adorable. And I always hated, like, in games when a Pokemon starts, like, cute, and then it evolves into something either, like, ugly or scary. The evolved form is not that bad. It's still, it's a Lynx, and it looks pretty awesome, but it's not, like, scary or hideous or anything. So I'm gonna come in here and try to catch the last two. I'm doing catch them all mode here for all 20, all 25 Pokemon that are in this game right now. Which is actually impossible because I can't catch the other two starters. But I need the Peng- I need Penglyph. And I need like Peblusa, I think it was. Which are both in this cave. Okay, this is a level 6, I'm gonna catch it. Yeah, Cub Zero finish him. That should be like, he should get a move later called like finishing. This is gonna be a tough fight. Penglyph has a really high defense, I think. Being uh, an ice type. Plus, it's gonna use Harden like a hundred times. Oh, I heard a noise and thought something was like happening. I think my computer's just... I think my computer's just making some noise. That's alright. It's just like the fans and stuff. Um, okay. Bag. Luckily, I don't have many more Pokemon to catch because I am running out of Pokeballs at an alarming rate. I do know there are some guys in the coal mine that I can fight to get money. But being a demo, I kind of went over this er earlier. Um, 
being a demo. Sorry, I just lost my train of thought. Being a demo, there's uh, only so many areas you can go, which means there's only so many trainer battles. Which means that uh, there's only a finite amount of money you can get. Okay, so the next person I saw in chat. Let's see if they're still here. If they're not still here, I'm not gonna. Alright, he's still here. Red Rover. Guess what? Getting called up to the big leads, son. Oh, you know what, though? Alright, Artie, you're right. Uh, I gotta name this one after Glib. Because Glib loves penguins. He's always got penguins on his stream. And Glib was one of the people that kind of pushed me over the edge about deciding to start streaming. So I'm gonna go ahead and name that one after Glib. Next one, though, will be for Red Rover, I guess. Red Rover 505. Which will be, if I can find it, the stupid little Pebbleusa, which I think is the last... one of the last Pokémon in the demo version that I can catch. Now let's fight it. I want to get some fat EXP. Ouch. Oh, dude, he's got Howl? No way. Cobblin' OP. Jeez. I'm gonna be in a world of hurt if he decides to attack me. Yeah. Kill it. Yes! <laughs> what do I upload? Are you talking to me? Um... Seanification? Are you asking, like, what is my upload speed? Um, if you're talking to me, and that is the question, it is, uh, 2.1. Uh, on a good day. So, I've actually been really impressed... I don't wanna, like, brag on myself. That's not what this is about. Uh, I've been really impressed with my computer's ability to stream. I thought, um... Ooh, Icy Wind. Nice. Um... I was really afraid that if I started streaming that my computer wasn't going to be able to handle it and that either one, I wasn't going to be able to play any games with any sort of graphics or two, I was going to have to turn the quality down so low that it was just going to look bad. But I've actually been able to maintain um, pretty good streams. Minimal drop frames. Like today I've dropped zero frames. I'm proud of Toastertron 3000 over here. Oh, what games do I upload? Um, so this is my third stream, uh, third official stream. I did a couple test streams. Um, the first stream I almost exclusively played Hand of Fate. Um, yesterday I played a little bit of a game called Hexel's Infinite, which is a puzzle game similar to Minesweeper and Picross. Um, it was just kind of a warm-up thing to just kind of relax and chill out while people were coming in. Um, then I played some more Hand of Fate. And then I had a little bit of time left on the stream, so I played Geometry Wars 3, which uh, people seem to like. I might play some more of it later. Um, crap. And then today I have been playing this game, Pokemon Sage, which is a custom game, as I've been going on and on about for the last like three hours. Um, go ahead and put Artie in there. Uh, as far as what I'll stream in the future, that is um, kind of up in the air right now. It's kind of actually up to you guys. Uh, I've got a link floating around somewhere uh, with my Steam. Someday I need to put all this stuff down in the info for the channel so I don't have to keep. Um, keep interrupting myself here. But uh, give me just one second. Oh, Fury Attack, nice. Um, Let's do a quick pause arena, uh, quick station identification. I'm gonna go ahead and drop all my links. Um, Artie, you're actually a deer slash uh, alpaca or something, I think. Uh, it's a normal type. I don't know if he gets a subtype when he evolves. 
but uh, I'm gonna post some links here uh, just uh, about me and about the channel this is my Twitter account feel free to follow that I announce when I'm going live on the stream this is my YouTube account uh, I post the VODs I've been trying to upload all the VODs there because um, I know some people just don't like using the Twitch player myself included um, and then this last one is my Steam games list uh, I've been sending it out encouraging people to look at it if there's something on there that you would like to see played all you gotta do is tell me um, tweet me send me a message on twitch uh, in my inbox or whatever <clears throat> uh, I'm not too famous that I won't be able to read them all but uh, yeah make a suggestion I can't guarantee that I'll get to everybody you know I'm only one man and I am currently looking for work so if I get a job obviously my schedule is gonna change um, but yeah, I'm open to suggestions. I would like to play games that you guys want to see, as well as maybe, um, uh, go back to and revisit some old games that I haven't played in a while, or maybe that I didn't give, you know, as much of a chance as I should have. Uh, so that's one of the goals of the channel, is just kind of get me playing some, some variety of games so like I said take a look at that list if there's something you'd like to see or if you uh, if you know of a game that's out there that you'd like to see you know like I said you can suggest the worst case scenario is I'll tell you no and to never talk to me again <laughs> uh, but you know I'm open to it I've also you know I've obviously got all the totally legal SNES NES, Sega Genesis, Game Boy games, all that kind of stuff that I could stream, if that's what people want to see. Yeah, I'm sorry, Artie. The dinosaur got named after Talif because he was the first one here. Sorry, man. Snooze you lose, bro. The deer, though, I underestimated it. It's really strong, so don't feel bad. But, uh, basically, yeah, I'm trying to catch this last piece of garbage that's living in this cave, and he won't come out. Here he is. Here's a little peblosa. little turd. I don't want to kill it, so I'm going to be... I'm going to use kid gloves here. Oh, sand attack. Of course. This is exactly what happened last time. He used sand attack on me, then I couldn't hit him, and then he used lick, and he- oh fudge. I killed it. Dream is dead. Along with Pebalusa. Yeah, he used sand attack, so I couldn't hit him. He used it like three times, and then he licked me, and paralyzed me, and then kept sand attacking me, and I just couldn't hit it. Yeah, I told you, man. Artie, I know you can't hear me. I'm sorry, I'm talking to you and you can't hear me. Um, the evolutions in this game are so cool. Alright, here we go. Use a chance, Sean. Hopefully this works because I only got two poker eyes left. No! Okay, so what we're gonna do. Don't panic. Don't panic. Switch to one of our lower levels here. There we go. This is it, man. This is my last Pokeball. There we go. We got it. Oh, I didn't read the info. Sorry, I skipped it. That's my B. Arch, just tell him that the deer is super strong OP. Trying to 
I'm trying to get as much in there as I can. Alright, we all know what it means. There you go, Sean. Alright, I think... I'm going to do something ultra-professional here. This is going to cover the stream, I know. I want to look... Uh, there's a image file that has all the demo Pokemon on it. So, I think this thing right here, you can probably see, uh, looks stupid. But look at this. Look at this. That thing is so awesome. I think this is, uh, this is as far as the demo goes. Oh no, no, it has these in it. So I haven't encountered these yet, so I still need to ca uh, catch a Kawadi and a Snome. So, but I've got, I've got the Bluffin, the Penglyph, the Coblin. The Coblin is sweet too, look at this guy. So that's interesting. He goes from a Dark type to a Dark Fire to a Dark Steel. That is, that is cool. And this dude, uh, this Bluffin that I got apparently evolves into an Articuno. That's awesome. And here's the Capybara. He looks kind of doofy, but you know. That's your typical normal type for the game. Look at this though. This is what I want right here. Avalanx. Like, you know what I should have done? I should have nicknamed Cub Zero, Cub Zero. So that when he evolves, he stays named Cub Zero. I feel like I kind of missed the boat on that one. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, you're right, Arch. You know, I forgot about Red Rover. Well, now I know that I got some more to catch. So, he'll, he'll, I'll give him the next one. I apologize, Red Rover, if you're, if you're here. I kind of blanked on that one. But I thought that was it. I thought I had caught everything, but now I realize I got two more. So, we'll get you one, bud. I bet those are in the, uh... It's called Coal Mine. It's probably where I'll find those, I'm guessing. So yeah, I mean, this game, even the demo version has got some cool stuff in it. Cyber Cub Zero. <laughs> um, and I really hope they stick with it and get to finish this game up. I'm gonna say that a hundred times, so get used to it. So now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to town real quick and heal up. And I'm gonna try to actually know what this fight will probably get Cub Zero pretty close to level 10. Yeah. Yeah, Red Rover is just always gonna be the next Pokemon. Just <laughs> I'm, I feel bad. I'm sorry. I'm not going to try to fight this thing because it's just going to kill me. Oh, jeez, I can't escape. Penguin is too strong. So, goal is to get Cub Zero to level 10, and then I'm going to advance... Oh, excuse me, I got the hiccups. I'm going to exam the... Uh, what I don't even know what I just said. I'm going to advance the storyline by talking to the mysterious stranger in town who is stealing people's Pokemon like a scum lord. Yeah, Talif likes hats and they're, they're comfy and easy to wear. I took a screenshot of that Talif, so I'll, uh, I'll crop it up and uh, I'll post it around on Twitter and stuff later just because I think I thought that was funny. so close to getting out of this grass. So I got Cub Zero to level 10. That was the goal. So I got two guys uh, at level 10, one at a level 11. And then, uh... Computer, you dork. Okay, move Pokemon. This is the best feature. Okay, so 
Yeah, I did. I totally botched that. Okay. So I actually want to take this guy out. Oh, here we go. Pokemon Party. I'm sorry. Sorry, R6. But I want to put this, uh... I want to put this cobalt thing in my my party because I, I I'm just gonna be honest. I think it's cooler. I think the evolution is cooler. Sorry, buddy. Look at this thing now. It's pretty cool. Plus, it's level eight. I really wish I had an EXP share like the good one from. Uh, Pokemon XY, where it gives half XP to everybody in the party. That thing made... It was one of those things where, like, it made the game too easy, but it also made grinding obsolete. So we're gonna go... Here's this dude. The Wandering Stranger, who's wearing a poncho and a hat. And he's stealing Pokemon. He told me to buzz off. Oh man, he's mad now. Oh, your friends with that twerp stole his Pokemon from? What are you dating or something? Oh, dude, he knows exactly what buttons to push. Okay, so Sean, I just want to tell you that's uh, it's not Oregon Trail. Like the the game uh, from school, it's called Oregon Trail, which is a zombie survival game. Either way, I'll play it if you want. Um, but <laughs> that's all you should know. It's it's not the uh, the game where you shoot buffalo and stuff. Right, so this guy's like, shut up, make me. Whoa! Whoa! Are you seeing this? It's like a ghost. Okay, so this is like, this guy has a, okay. This guy wears a poncho and a sombrero, right? And he's got a Pokemon that is a ghost that wears a poncho and a sombrero. He's eventually fighting people with his ghost. If that's not awesome, I don't know what is. If you don't think that's great, you should get out. Oh, I see wind. I thought that was the one that had low base damage but always criticals, but it's the one that has low base damage and lowers their speed. Which is bad. Oh no. Alright, I'm gonna have to switch out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cub Zero. I don't want you to die. Uh, he's a ghost. What moves do I have? They're probably all normal type. Except Taunt, which is in the- okay. I gotta go with, uh, I gotta go with my starter. Because no one else is gonna be able to hit this guy, except, well, actually Flame Master would. But, I think this will be better. Uh, Sean, I was saying that the, the game on my Steam list is called Organ Trail, O-R-G-A-N, and it's kind of like a zombie Oregon Trail. They're kind of similarly themed, but I just wanted you to know that that's what the game was. It wasn't like the uh, the old mech game where you uh, where you shoot buffalo and drive a wagon. Dude, this thing is so strong. Um, I wish I would have known that. I would have leveled up a little more because he is taking it. He is taking the fight to me right now, and I don't have anything that's super effective against him. And his attacks are doing a lot. Like, Fane attack should not be doing that much damage. Nor should Shadow Sneak. Oh my goodness. I'm getting wrecked. My powder snow might be my only hope here. Oh! 
It did nothing! Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get wiped right here. I got nothing against this guy. We're all gonna die, guys. I'm sorry. I was not prepared. I figured, like, this dude would be a pushover. Go, Roombo! <laughs> uh, this is... So, okay. I'm gonna be professional again. Um, I don't remember what type this guy is. I know he's a ghost, but he might be a ghost fighting. You might be right. Um, but he might also be just playing ghosts. I'm trying to find him on the list right now. I'm not seeing him. I'm scrolling too fast, I'm sorry. Um, dude, some of these Pokemon are just downright adorable, by the way. He is a dark ghost, so, wow, uh, dark ghost in, uh, the pre, dark ghost in the pre fairy type world has zero weaknesses. Um, that combination is completely weakness free and, uh, it is also, it, you know what, it might not be immune to normal attacks. I gotta try it. It's my last hope. Yeah, see, it doesn't affect it. So I'm gonna leave this guy out here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna potion up Cub Zero. He is literally the only hope. And then I'm pretty much gonna let this guy... Wow. I was going to try to do uh, a growl to lower his... I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have to do the same thing with Archmuffin here. I'm going to try to weaken him. Oh, no, he's only got health. I'm pretty much screwed here. So I'm just going to have to leave this guy out here till he dies. Because I don't want to switch in Cub Zero, because if I switch him in, then that means the Sombrerado dude gets a free attack. So, I'm just going to leave, I got to leave this guy until he gets, until he gets knocked out, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm guessing the other Pokemon he has, though is the uh, the one that he stole, which is going to be a uh, a grass type. Which if I have Cub Zero, I know that um, Powder Snow isn't a great move, but it'll be super effective. Or Icy Wind, I'm sorry. So the only thing I can do is, is Icy Wind and hope it kills this guy. didn't. Oh. oh! Cub Zero! Cub Zero! 715 experience! <laughs> this is gonna take forever to go up the EXP bar because it's a special... Oh, and I just learned Bite, which would have been helpful. Look at this. Look at the experience is real, guys. The experience has caused me to drop frames, I'm sorry. He wants to learn Quick Attack. Uh, yes. We'll forget Scratch, because it's the same. Same base damage, but Quick Attack has priority. Yeah, see, so he's got this, uh... He's got this jabroni right here. So, I am, uh, less than worried. So Cub Zero 
uh, aside from being the cutest Pokemon in this game, is also the master. He just saved this run single-handedly. Well, whatever, this time doesn't count short stack. If the great Ricardo ever sees you again, I won't move back any punches. So that's Ricardo, apparently. The outlaw Ricardo. It's pretty sweet though. Um I lived. I lived to tell the tale. I fought Ricardo. Dude, that Pokemon, though, that dark ghost type is too good. I would love to have one for myself. Like I said, in a uh, pre-fairy type, Dark Ghost has no weakness. That's why Sableye, it was like a really good Pokemon in theory, but also it sucked because it just sucks. Uh, Spiritomb was the same way though, those, those were the only, excuse me, the only two Dark Ghost types out there. But then they added the fairy type, which is strong against Dark, which ruined it. Pretty much ruin the game. Right, I'm gonna go in here and uh, I'm gonna buy some potions and some Pokeballs if I can. Just tell me how many I have. Okay. I wanna try to keep at least five. I was kinda hoping to get more money from if he's like some famous outlaw, I thought he'd be rich. Okay, so now, um... Okay, so this guy's gone. Um, he moved, so I can go in this cave if I want. I gotta assume I'm getting close to You know what, though? I haven't fought a gym. Uh, there is one gym in the demo. So I still got- oh, I just did it again. Uh, I got a gym to take on at some point. I'm gonna put Archmuff in the front. I wanna kinda level him up and see if I can get like a dark type move on him. I'm gonna go to the Yeah, they let me in here, so I'm pretty much legit. Um, I'm in the coal mine right now. The guy said that there's wild Pokemon in here. Oh, maybe you have to go inside to find him. Yeah, okay. And then he said there's also trainers looking for battles, so I'm hoping to get some... Uh, no, there's nothing down there. Uh, looking to get some fights under my belt to get some experience, because trainer battles are worth more. And, uh... Get out of my way! Get move. Thank you. Um, and I'm also hoping to get some money so I can buy some more like potions, and consumables. All right, what do we got? Oh, it's just this guy again. Archer, right, gonna make you fight yourself. I fell for the tongue. See that uh that fight was intense. <laughs> the fact I was I had pretty much I was reserved in my fate. I thought I was dead. Um because Icy Wind was just not getting it done, but I lowered his speed enough that I was able to get priority uh on the next move and I killed him. I just I still I can't believe that happened. Cause I'm like, if I can just get to the bird, I'm fine because it's a it's a grass type and I got ice moves. But I did not expect him to uh, to team team wipe me like that. I don't know, is Red Rover gone? It's, uh, yeah, it looks like Red Rover's gone. I've made him so mad. That he left. Now I feel I feel awful.
Sorry, I accidentally just clicked off the screen there. So yeah, I got no idea where I'm going here. Just wandering around, hoping to find some uh, battles and maybe a new Pokemon. I've also got that new downward cave area. Which open up after I beat the guy with the sombrero. So there could be stuff in there. Ooh, ouch. That experience I got though from killing that thing was off the chain. It's like 715. Dude, they said there was tons of people down here that loved the battle. I haven't seen a single person yet. And like, I can't just hang out down here because I got a limited number of potions. And it's a long way back to get to the Pokemon Center. I love when wild Pokemon just use stat boosts and then never attack you. It's probably my favorite thing. Okay, going deeper. Can't go there. Dude, this is such false advertising. Oh, what is this? I thought I was going to have to do like a switch puzzle. Here we go. <laughs> Good old miner telling a, a miner to ride around in the minecarts without supervision. I'm going to buff up a little bit, and then I'm going to potion. Yeah, there is. I notice sometimes there is some slowdown, uh, either when changing areas or when like getting into a random encounter. And now that I say that, I've angered the internet gods, and I'm going to drop a few frames here. Wow, this thing is... wrecking my business. Even though I buffed my attack and he didn't. Okay, I got him. Nine, got some more attack points. I'm trying to see like where these guys fall in terms of like their roles, but their stats all seem so balanced right now. I'm on quick attack. That's cool. Cub Zero. I'm afraid to fight this thing. Oh, it's level nine too. Rippin' Peas Archmuffin, I'm sorry. You did. I kinda wanna put Artie in there, but he's gonna be underleveled. I'm afraid. But I wanna get him some experience if I can. It's too much. I'm not going to chance that I'm going to switch him out. I 
put him uh, flame in because he's an ice type, so if I get icy winded, it's not gonna hurt. Well, of course, I get scratched and it's gonna hurt. What? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I use powder instead of pack, that's why, because I'm an idiot. Alright, so I already got to level 8. I don't know why, but I seem to be dropping on frames right now. Might just be a hiccup on my internet. Either that or a lot of times Steam is the culprit. Okay, we seem to be back in business. I'm riding the carts. Guy told me I could. I'm doing it. Oh, look at this. Oh, escape room. I already have three of those. I mean, it's good because I'll probably have to use one, but... Alright Talif, uh, thanks for coming out, thanks for chilling with us, uh, thanks for posting that link a couple times for me when I was floundering around. Why am I dropping these frames, man? Dude, the stuff in this game is kicking my butt. I apologize uh, for the drop frames, I, I don't know what's going on right now. It might just be an internet thing. Dude, look at Artie go! Hold on one second, I'm gonna see if I can find out if something's causing these frame drops. I don't know if like Steam is updating or something is doing something in the background. Or if my internet is just taking a dump right now. Alright, well you guys say it's looking alright. If it's looking alright, then I'm gonna keep going. 
and I'll just apologize if it gets choppy. I'm not dropping like a ton of frames, but like I dropped zero frames in the first two hours, and then in like the last five minutes, I've dropped about 5,000 frames.